Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on and talk about the whole Cardi B versus Access Hollywood situation. So a lot of y'all been asking me to touch on this, and this entire situation is insane, okay? So Cardi B is really pissed off, and she's in her feelings. She went off two days ago because she did an interview with Access Hollywood, and basically they chopped and screwed the interview. And then they posted a headline basically saying that culture calls somebody else mama. And so Cardi B was hot. She was really pissed off about this. And now she's vowing to not do any more press interviews. She's tired of the press basically misconstruing everything she says. She goes off. She's cussing them out. She says she'll spit on them when she sees them. This entire situation is crazy as hell. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. So let me tell you how I'm doing. So let me tell you how I'm doing press for rhythm and flow, right? So I'm doing motherfucking press. For rhythm and flow. And these bitch ass nigga, this little motherfucking bitch ass nigga. I had interviews with him before, but this time I feel like you niggas really fucking trying to. I don't play when it comes to my fucking kid. Alright? So let me tell you something. So these motherfuckers access Hollywood, these bitch ass niggas, motherfucking ass motherfuckers. I'ma really violate y'all niggas right now. So let me tell you something. So they're asking me. They, they asked me a question, right? They asked me a question of me doing different ventures and how has things changed when it comes to motherhood. So I explained to them. I, I gave them like a two-minute answer, right? I gave them like a two-minute answer and I said things have changed because a lot of people expect me to do so many things. Like a lot of people expect me to be in the studio and then I got to do other shit. Like, right, like I film for Rhythm and Flow. I film for Hustlers. I'm working on fucking Fashion Nova and I'm doing other business shit that is about to come out so it's like i'm sorry if i take time of my day that i could be five hours in the studio but i spend it five hours with my kid because yes i can have somebody babysit my fucking kid yes i can have somebody babysit my kid but it's like it's a whack feeling when your kid don't fucking not, not even trying to fuck with you and try to call somebody somebody else mommy that's why you gotta spend time with your kid so these motherfuckers chop what I set up. These niggas chop what I set off. The whole explanation why I spent time with my kid, why I put my kid before work. They chop it off and then they're going to name it on YouTube. Cardi admits that culture calls somebody else mommy due to work. Bitch, that's not what the fuck I said. Don't use my motherfucking kid for clickbait, bitch. Don't fucking cuss shit off. Try to make me look like I'm a fuck ass mom. That's not something that I'm not. I don't play that shit. Y'all niggas got me fucked up. Don't you ever ask Hollywood when I see y'all niggas. Watch. I'm not even going to touch y'all because everybody want to be suing people. I'm going to spit at y'all motherfuckers like this. <sighs> like that, nigga. The fuck? Don't play when it comes to my kid. Don't use my kid for clickbait. Don't fucking cut half of the shit that I said about why do I gotta spend time with my child? Cause every single day, like, like just yesterday, these bitch ass niggas, Joe Button, and the motherfucking podcast, podcast talking about, oh, Cardi's doing other things. She's not busy worrying about hip hop because she's doing other money moves. Yes, nigga, I'm doing other money moves. And guess what else I'm doing, nigga? I gotta spend time with my child. So I'm sorry that I'm not doing what y'all niggas expect me to do because I got to do other shit. I like spend time with my kid. The fuck? And then y'all who niggas is going to use what I said. Chop it the fuck up. Chop it up. And try to make me look like I'm some whack ass mom. Get the fuck out of here. The fuck? And niggas is crazy. I will never again, never again do press. That's why I don't like doing press because y'all niggas like to chop shit up. And then y'all gonna make me out here. Then you're gonna put uh, for clickbait. Cardi admits that uh, somebody else, that, that culture calls somebody else mommy due to work. Are you fucking dumb? Are you fucking dumb? Are you fucking dumb? The fuck? Don't play when it comes to my mother or my nigga. Because I fucking sacrifice a lot. Fuck. Niggas really out here cloud chasing on the third fucking level. How fucking dare you? How dare y'all niggas? And when I see y'all, I'ma spit at y'all. Spit at y'all niggas. With, 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 deep shit. Deep shit. And niggas be trying it. And niggas fucking.
fucking take time of my day to interview me. Y'all take time of my day to interview me, to chop shit up. Y'all make, make it seem like, yeah, yeah, coach is calling somebody else. Mommy, nigga, you fucking dumb. I don't play when it comes to my child. I don't. So don't use my kid for fucking clickbait. Ask Sex Hollywood, suck my whole dick. Suck a dick. I hope your fucking mom catch AIDS, bitch. The fuck? Y'all niggas is crazy. Y'all niggas is crazy. Fuck, you gonna ask me, yo, how is motherhood? How is everything in life? How is everything in life? How is working and being a mother? And it's like, yeah, a lot of people are expecting a lot of shit about me. They're not, they don't, they don't realize that I work and I have to be a mom. So five hours that people be like, oh yeah, you gotta do rap songs. You gotta do rap albums. Yeah, we want another song, Cardi. Cardi, we want another song. Yeah, uh, I gotta get back for my kid. And I gotta spend time with my kid. And then you're gonna chop shit up? Try to make it seem like my mom called somebody, like my daughter called somebody else. Mom? Me? The fuck? It's your fucking mind. It's your fucking mind. That shit got me so hot, my nigga. So hot. Like, yo, I do not play when it comes to my fucking child. Don't play with me. And then you want a motherfucking, you, and then, and then what you use for clickbait on YouTube is Culture calls somebody else mommy. Are you crazy? That shit is so disrespectful. So disrespectful. That shit got me so hot. Shit got me so fucking hot. Like, I don't play when it comes to my kid, my nigga. Don't play. I don't play when it comes to my kid. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Bitch ass niggas. Honey. Damn, Cardi went off. I had to clutch my invisible damn pearls. I'm like, well, damn. She was really hot, okay? She was definitely in her feelings. This entire situation is crazy. So now I feel like this. As a mother, I understand somebody is lying on you, especially your children or bringing your kids up. You're definitely gonna be a mama bear. You're definitely gonna protect your kids. Keep my kids' name out your mouth. Kids are off limits. If you're not gonna say something positive about a child, shut the fuck up, okay? So I definitely understand that part of it. But like I always say, Cardi is so used to reacting onto the internet and it's not a good look. I think personally, she should have reached out to those people behind the scenes and said, take it down. This is not okay. This is not what was said. Delete all that shit. Delete all that shit. Let's play with you, baby. Or even if she wanted to explain it, People will take you more seriously when you explain things in a calm, rational manner. When you're cussing, carrying on, you know what I'm saying, threatening to spit on people. Then what happens is that then it makes that person who's doing the ranting and raving look bad. Because meanwhile, the corporation, they, they're not going to reply back to Cardi's rant and rave. But now people are going to chop and screw that and say, look at that. You know, she's acting ratchet. She's acting ghetto. Once again, she's cussing somebody out. So that's why I always say that, you know, whatever thing she's going through, whatever is pissing her off... Keep it off of social media. Everything is not for social media because then it ends up backfiring and then it ends up making her look bad. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of these companies, a lot of these news organizations, they're not real journalists anymore. Everything is about clickbait. Everything is about just getting views, not putting out the full story. And I think that's the part that's frustrating to people like me and others who have journalistic integrity. So what's gonna get more clicks? Culture calls somebody else mama or Cardi B says she needs more time to spend with her daughter because this the schedule she has is very rigorous. Like, you know what I mean? Even though that's what she's saying and that's the truth of the matter, they're not gonna title it that because again, even the mainstream media no longer has journalistic integrity. They're literally trying to compete with clickbaiters on YouTube. 
And it just doesn't make any sense. You expect when you go to certain sites like Access Hollywood, E! and things like that, that it's gonna be about journalistic integrity because they have a corporate backing. But what I'm seeing now from a lot of these so-called corporate backed you know, people is a lot of clickbaiting, a lot of half-truths, a lot of slicing and dicing just to get traffic. And I'm sure it's very frustrating for people like Cardi B when you give an interview and then they totally misconstrue what you said and they go and post something else up. But with that being said, that does not make it okay for her to rant, rave, scream, you know what I'm saying, and say that she wants to spit on these people when she sees them, especially knowing that it's gonna make her look like she's crazy and that she's in a bad light. Even though you can tell that she's highly upset because her daughter is involved. But again, every battle is not worth it. That's why you have to really, you know, weigh things and see if it's even worth me responding, especially responding publicly. Because once again, it just makes her look like she's crazy and always ranting and raving about something as opposed to, you know what I'm saying, her addressing the situation in a more calm manner. So of course, after everything went viral, people had a lot to say on social media, and Cardi started addressing people on Twitter, okay? So one of the people that she retweeted said this, it upsets me that people who dislike Cardi took this situation where she was rightfully upset and turned it into a narrative that she's trash, all the while disregarding the fact that these people chopped her video and used her child for clicks, but she's wrong? So Cardi B replied and said, thank you. Boy, they will push every type of narrative to cancel me, but God and God a right bond. Then she goes on to say, you see, I've been working my ass off, doing my shit. I go out, I do press runs. People took my kindness for weakness. I felt violated and said how I felt. Now I'm the industry wicked witch again. This is why I don't be talking or socializing because it always ends up bad for Cardi. Then she goes on to say, Woo, Chile, I haven't been this mad since what was the reason? Then she said, after my birthday, I'm deleting my social media accounts for a while because a bitch is just over it. So now she's claiming that she's going to leave social media after her birthday. So it's going to be very interesting to see if she actually does that. It's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. I was waiting to see if Access Hollywood would say anything, but it's been two days. They haven't said anything, but I'm sure they've seen the video like everybody else, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Cardi B going off on Access Hollywood for basically putting up clickbait and false headlines concerning her child. Do you agree with what Cardi B was saying? Do you feel like, you know, that's okay for her to go off like that because it's about her child? Or do you feel like she should have handled it better? And then how do you feel about these news organizations not having any more integrity and basically doing interviews with celebrities and then clickbaiting, making stuff up, you know what I'm saying, twisting their words, slicing and dicing stuff just to get clicks and views as opposed to having journalistic integrity and talking about the topic at hand in a truthful manner. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And most importantly, hit that notification bell so you can be down with the notification squad. All right. Deuces.